Alright, so in this uh, lesson, we are going to look at how to design a pin screen in Ionic uh, 3. It's very easy. We are not going to use any external uh, libraries. Uh, we are just going to use only Ionic components. Just do a few changes to the size variable. Then that is it. And use the Ionic utility. And we have our uh, pin screen. You know how to write uh, other CSS uh, code to, to achieve it. So let me show you. First thing to do is to create your Ionic project. So Ionic start. I'm going to call my alpha uh, pin screen. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to use the blank template. And that's it. So go ahead and create your Ionic project all right so our project has been created and opened in uh, visual studio code editor i'm using the insiders uh, version so let's do a little housekeeping before we continue uh, or we, before we start actually so let's remove the uh, home page component and uh, load it lately so i'm going to recreate the page uh, ionic generate page home page and uh, we're going to edit the home uh, page module by adding an export and then exporting the home page and that's it now one more thing let's go into our app component and load it here lazily Let's remove uh, the components from this pack. Now we have a, a page ready, so we can save it and start coding. So first of all, let's go into the home page task uh, file. And we're going to add uh, some background gradient to our Ionic content uh, element. So it's going to give us a very nice background. Uh, well. Then inside the home page, we are going to add uh, no border to the header, Ion header, and remove uh, this text from the Ion title. Then make our ion alpha transparent. Let's see how it looks like now. There we go. We have a little nice uh, page we are going to uh, work with. So, what do we do next? We are going to create the grid that is going to contain uh, the uh, buttons. 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0 button. So let's go ahead. Ion grade. Inside, we're going to add an ion row. Then inside the ion row, we have our ion color. So each color is going to have, each row is going to have three columns. So uh, inside the column, we're going to add a button. It's going to be an ion button and uh, it's going to be a round one all right uh, and then we're going to make it uh, outline and the color is going to be light okay let's see how the first one will look like so let me add the figure here, one, and uh, we have a little nice something. So we're going to add the others. So one, two, three, and we should have the first uh, row with the three first three columns. Let's copy and paste for the others. All right, so three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So left with the last one, which is zero. So how do we add the zero? Is supposed to come here. Well, I'm just going to do some little uh, something here uh, inside the here and here. We're going to remove the button, and here we will add the um, zero, and we should have a, a very nice uh, update. All right. So now we need to make the uh, buttons uh, round, really round, a very cycle uh, button. Uh, this one does not really look like what I showed you in the beginning. So how do we do that? And how do we increase uh, the sizes to to look uh, nice? So what we will do is we will add a large attribute to uh, the buttons and that should give us a large uh, button uh, well then we go back so we have to repeat for the rest so let's do that all right the next thing we will do is to make it a uh, perfect uh, round or circle i'm going to try and I'll do that by using a size variable for button. Uh, all right. So we go into our theme inside our variables here and change some uh, variables. So button round border radius. Give it a 50 percent and the next one is going to be button border padding n sorry and let's give it uh, 2.2 rem let's see how it goes and now we have some mm, a little nice something here all right, uh, we have we have something good. Let's um, let's do something. Let's add a text center to our iron grid to make everything a little nicer. Well, I hope it's achieved what I wanted. So next, let's add the cancel button here, yeah, and we are going to use the iron footer. Going with a button uh, cancel. It's going to be an iron button. So iron button and clear. Let's see. Okay. So let us uh, do a text center to center the button. And then change the color of the button text to light and that is it and we have our little nice button pencil down there let's we, we can see that uh, there is a something here some butter we're going to remove it by adding no butter So, so that they will all look the same on our platform. All right, yeah. All right, so there we go. So now we're going to do the uh, last uh, step at the top here. So we will add a div, which will have. Uh, some ion icons. The name of the first 
be radio button on hope it works uh, all right we have it and the color well, let, let's repeat for all right the others will be radio button off okay that's it let's center them to so text center and you should have it centered all right uh, let's add some colors to color life and that should give it a white color let me repeat for the rest and we have uh, that done as well the last thing is to add our and then yeah, sorry we're going to use an h6 to achieve that we're going to put our text inside touch id or enter and then break then pass code so let's see how it looks and let's modify it with some attributes so let's first do a text center and then use an ion text to make it possible to add a color so we can add a color of white and let's see alright let's add something the margin vertical add some margin to it so it goes up let's rather add it to the uh, div instead um, so that's it and that should do it yeah then let's add uh, one last thing the text uppercase and we should have our pin screen ready so that is it um, if you like this video uh, subscribe to my channel and then share the video with others so they too can enjoy all right um, I'll make the code available on github and put the link in the description so you can clone it and uh, view it if you don't want to uh, code it yourself so that's it thank you and see you in the next video